Hello, welcome back boys and girls. Today's book is called The Adventures of Mr. McCall, written by Leticia Odas, illustrated by Yana Popova. Now this wonderful book is about two little brothers and their adventure in Mexico. Now let's see what happens. Let's get started. Maxin and Bronx raised the head of Mommy and Papi into their summer home. Now the little house in Mexico always felt like a cozy blanket, even though Abuelito Kiki and Abuelita Anita no longer live there. Where's my purple box? asked Bronx the younger of the two brothers. Here it is, shouted Maxton. And then the boys ripped off the tape and tossed the lead. Hola, Mr. McCall. Bronx greeted Abuelito's old kite and Maxton lifted it above his head. I bet you're ready to fly with your best friends. Good to see you, Neosi. Let's go fly. I was worried that you boys weren't coming because of the tropical storm. And Bronx giggled. <laughs> that just makes these things more exciting. We're not worried. Abuelito Kiki is watching over us, explained Maxton. And off to the beach they went with Mommy and Papi. Yay! Let's do this! And Mr. McCall soared so high. Well, now that I'm seven, I don't need Papi's help, said Maxton. Abuelito Kiki would be proud, said Mommy. And when Abuelito was a teenager, he was a great lifeguard. He saved several children who would have been swept away by giant waves and the magical kite was given to him by one of the families said Papi and Bronx nodded we love that Mr. McCaw is a part of our family and then Mr. McCaw flew down it's Bronx's turn, and Bronx ran down the beach with Mr. McCall, and then he let go. Can you fly by yourself? Oh no, Maxton said. Let's grab him. And Maxton jumped and caught Mr. McCall by the string before he could fly away. Sorry, Bronx said. I was just testing out his super wing power. And Mr. McCaw said, That gives me an idea. Now the winds were getting stronger. Yikes, Bronx said. A tropical storm is coming. Let's bring Mr. McCall back to us. And suddenly, a gust of wind moved in and took Mr. McCall away. Mr. McCall, come back, shouted Maxton. It's okay. Poor little Kiki told me to always look after the village. 
I'm off to see if anyone needs help, said Mr. McCall. And Maxon, Bronx, Mommy and Papi ran after him. He flew over the buildings and then he disappeared. Mr. McCall might get lost in the storm. Maxton explained to Thomas, the mayor of the village. Boys, you can count on me. I'll find Mr. McCall. Everyone loves seeing the magical kite fly every summer, said Thomas. And I'll text the entire village to keep an eye out for him. Now, Mr. McCall flew faster and faster as the storm pushed him higher and higher. Mr. McCall flew through the rain. He watched a group of girls playing soccer in the streets. A paletero pointed at him. Hi, amigo. Look, that's Mr. McCall. Thomas said, we must help get him back to Maxlin and Bronx. He's the family's old kite. And then Mr. McCall swooped down to take a bite of the girl's paleta de paina. And the girl grabbed the kite for a second but then the wind pushed Mr. McCall back up. And he headed towards the marina to check on everyone. Maria, the captain of a small fishing boat, tried to grab Mr. McCall's string. Come here! But the winds pushed the kite away. And Maria shouted, It looks like the storm is moving away from the village. We're all safe. Go back home. Now back at Abuelito's old home, Thomas's phone kept ringing. We saw Mr. McCall with the girls playing soccer. We saw Mr. McCoy in the village eating paletas. We saw Mr. McCoy near the marina. And Bronx pointed to something bright in the sky. <laughs> it's Mr. McCoy. And the kite swooped down towards Maxton, Bronx, Mommy and Papi. But a gust of wind pushed him up into a palm tree. Mr. McCall, we're coming for you. Maxine shouted. And Thomas climbed up to get the magical kite. And Maxine said, You are in one piece. All the people in Abuelito's village are safe from the storm. And they guided you home, Mr. McCaw. I lost a few gold feathers, but it was worth it. Now, by the next day, the tropical storm had passed through. Mr. McCoy is still bad, oh. said Bronx. And the boys untangled and tried to fix his twisted wings. Abuelito Kiki told us Mr. McCoy would always fly and we should take him to the beach to see, Max then said. And at first, Mr. McCoy wouldn't take off. And the boys felt discouraged. And suddenly, a gust of wind filled Mr. McCaw's damaged 
wings. And like magic, the bent wings opened and took Mr. McCall high into the sky. He can do magic, said Bronx. You can't even tell that he flew through a storm. Just like the people in this beautiful village, the spirit of Mr. McCall will never, ever be broken. You did it! Bravo, Mr. McCall! Bravo! The end. What a wonderful adventure with Mr. McCall. Thank you for joining us again, boys and girls, for this beautiful, wonderful story. We thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you soon.